Keith. You're checking out G4 TV Freestyle 101. Come back to Kurtz in the house. I'm about to go in the booth, show you how it's done. Yeah. Kingpin. I'm a human Xbox. They say I'm sacred, they say I'm Genesis My lyrics are tough You wait on the sideline till I finish this I come plenty I give you something to think about I give you more to wear to mink about They call me P-I-M-P My tank is full Y'all step to me empty I lay on the curve I lay with your girl and smoke some herbs I swing into some computer, digging your butt like Roto Rooter. You that man on the bicycle, your lady rides a scooter. I be that rap tutor. I blow them flutes out. Y'all going too much with too much mouth. Y'all to talk, y'all to walk. Lyrically, y'all made a pig park. That's right, I swing on the turnpike. I throw my balls in New York And let y'all feel the testes You request these Look around twice Y'all three blind mice They call me smooth I lay in the curve I grew up in the Bronx, New York As one of the um, most influential people of Ultramagnetic I grew up as a person looking at all the culture coming up from Cold Crush Brothers, Flash, different people. We didn't have no lyricists lounges back then. It was just, you had to try for a group and they only had a few groups to look at. I mean, you had Furious Five, Cold Crush, Fantastic, Eddie Chiba, different groups. But um, Kenny Pounder was my friend for years in um, elementary school. Kenny used to be with the Cold Crush Brothers. I went to school with Kenny, but I was never rapping. But I remember when Kenny went to trial for Cold Crush. He made it that night. I was so wild, like he was a ghetto star. But a lot of people didn't make it in rap back then, which was cool because you had people on the sideline that were admiring those groups and they stood in their place. Now you got everybody trying to rap. Back then it was more focused on the artists were the artists and the people that went to see the show were the people that went to see the show. Now you got people in the show think they can rap. But I think the Bronx prepares you for struggle. And some cities, you know, you travel around the world, they have ghettos, but once you lived in the Bronx and you see other ghettos, it's easy to relate to. I mean, it's more gives you the power to the strive, the struggle, and you know, the low economy back then in the 70s when everything was just all the Bronx was just nothing but a bunch of rocks to make something come from all that. I think a lot of artists never really went through that struggle of the Bronx of, you know, because everything from the Bronx was kind of done on a, a poor level as far as like the street lamps and, you know, just the whole getting rap to grow. Just It was just from flyers, everything was manual. We didn't have high technology television. We didn't have, you know, I, I, I give it a lot of credit for what we had, for what they did to make it work and to come into a billion dollar business. It was something great because um, a lot of people just came out of nowhere and stepped into something that just started from a little fire burning. You got guys who can rap and make songs and you got guys who make songs and freestyle, but I think it's a, a lot of people don't have a natural sense of freestyle and they just make, they're accustomed to just making records or buy the books and stuff like that. I think a true rapper can do everything. Make a song, freestyle, handle, you know, any type of situation. It's been times on stages that I, you know, the, the plug came off and I had to readjust. But physically, at that point, you know, some people probably would just freeze up. I mean, it's times when Kurt mixer went out and I had to make up just 15 minutes of stuff off the top to till we get back in progress that's a, that's a good rapper that's what makes Keith more of a rounded artist in that sense like 
he's ready for whatever is gonna happen. Some people might just throw the mic down, you know, and get off the stage. But like, I think he might even find it amusing, you know? Like, I mean, we might take a break and hand out chicken to the audience, or you know what I mean? Like, it, the show could go in a whole different direction. Or he might just freestyle, or people just clap their hand, you know, everybody just clap their hand, just, I'm gonna freestyle over the hand clap or whatever, so. I think there's different levels of artists and their creativity and their spontaneity, and I think he definitely epitomizes um, that. I think it's different types of freestyle. Some people add to the, what they said before, which is creative also. Some people just make a whole new line, but some people mix both together. I think it's all types of things because you can, that's also creative. I mean, there's no limit to freestyling, but it's like if you're just saying a whole song from a previous record. That's, that's totally, you know, you get no points. <laughs>